hi guys welcome to this new video of my channel where I am going to solve the problem of finding minimum number of coins to make a given sum so I have got these three coins in my coin collection 1 3 and 5 the denominations are 1 3 and 5 and uh, important thing to note is that there is an infinite supply of these coins the sum is 11 that uh, we need to form using these coins and uh, we need to find out what is the minimum number of coins uh, required to form this sum of 11 and there are two arrays which I have put here the blue one is the one which is going to determine or find out the minimum number of coins that will form 11 and the second array that means this orange one dark orange one is going to find out will help us actually in uh, back tracing to find out the exact coins which will form 11 so let's jump straight away into the solution of this problem I have put 0 as the value at index 0 uh, because if we think then uh, none of these coins can form 0 so 0 is the minimum number of coins to form the sum value of 0 think it that way now all these indexes will represent individual sums and they will also represent the sub problems because uh, we will be solving this problem using dynamic programming and uh, the optimized solution for each of these states will be calculated and uh, those optimized values will be used to find out the final solution that means the mini minimum number of coins for uh, the sum value of 11 so let's start so we move to sum 1 now this sum will be compared against each of these coins because these coins will have to be less than 1 then only we can proceed with the subsequent procedure why I'm saying so because see one can be used the uh, coin of denomination one can be used to form the sum value of one but no way neither three nor five can be used to form one that's why it's necessary that the sum value when we do the comparison or when we write the algorithm then one is always less than the, a, all any of these coins means the sum is less than all of these coins so as we proceed you will come to know that so we proceed with the sum value of 1 1 is obviously equivalent to 1 hence uh, how many coins actually can of denomination 1 can be used to form the sum value of 1 only one coin so let's see how we reach to that solution we subtract 1 from 1 and uh, that will bring us to index 0 the value here is 0 I add 1 to it and I get the solution as 1 now we proceed to the sum value 2 2 will be compared against 1 3 and 5 and 2 is only greater than 1 now we subtract 1 from 2 that will bring us to index 1 I get the value as 2 then uh, I proceed to some value 3 <coughs> as you can see that uh, 3 is uh, greater than 1 and 3 is also equivalent to 3 so this second coil will also be considered in finding the optimized solution so I subtract 1 from 3 I get to 2 I add 1 to it I get 3 as the solution this is the first solution now like I said that 3 will also be used in finding the optimized solution so we do the same we follow the same procedure I subtract 3 from 3 that will bring me to index 0 I get 1 as the answer now this is the problem for finding minimum number of coins and 1 is less than 3 hence we are going to delete this 3 and we are going to cut and paste 1 over here now moving on to sum 4 we subtract 1 from 4 that brings us to index 3 I get the solution as 2 
then we subtract a 3 from 4 that will bring us to index 1 we get the solution as 2 and that's it both of them are equal so 2 stays the first 2 gets eliminated now we move to 5 now when we move to some value of 5 you can see that while we compare them against while we compare 5 against all these uh, 3 coins all these 3 coins will be used to find the optimized solution for 5 because 5 is greater than 1 and 3 and 5 is equivalent to 5 so we follow the same procedure 1 subtracted what from 5 will bring us to index 4 we get the value as 3 3 subtracted from 5 will land us to index 2 we get the value as 3 5 subtracted from 5 will land us to the index 0 the value is 0 I get the solution as 1 now as you can see 1 is less than these two 3's so these two 3's get eliminated and the optimized solution becomes 1 now we move to some 6 I subtract a 1 from 6 I get the value as 2 I subtract the 3 from 6 I again get the value as 2 I subtract 5 from 6 I again get the value as 2 and the first twos get the first two twos get eliminated and the final two stays I subtract 1 from 7 I get 3 I subtract 3 from 7 I get 3 again I get I subtract 5 from 7 I get to 2 I get 3 again so the first two threes are gone and the final three stays so now I move to some value 8 I subtract 1 from 8 I get to 7 the value becomes 4 I subtract 3 from 8 I get to 5 the value becomes 2 then I subtract 5 from 8 I get to 3 the value again becomes 2 now 2 is greater than 4 hence we are going to keep 2 we eliminate 4 and 2 is the optimized solution that means 2 is the minimum number of coins that uh, make the sum 8 moving on to 9 I subtract 1 from 9 I get 3 I subtract 3 from 9 I get 3 again I subtract 5 from 9 I get 3 again so 3 stays then I subtract 1 from 10 I get 4 sorry I subtract 3 from 10 I get 4 then I subtract 5 from 10 I get 2 so I just get 2 and 2 is the optimized solution now we have reached to the final sum which is 11 let's find out using the same procedure what is the minimum num number of coins that form 11 so I subtract 1 from 11 I get the 3 I subtract the 3 from 11 I get 3 again I subtract 5 from 11 and I get 3 again so 3 is the minimum number of coins that form 11 now we use the second array to find out what exactly are the coins that form 11 so we have got our answer of uh, minimum number of coins being 3 but let's find out what those coins are so we are going to stay store here for each of these indexes in this array the index of the state from which the optimized solution is taken so for 1 we are going to store 0 for 2 we are going to store 1 for 3 we are going to store 0 because when we subtracted 3 from 3 we went to 0 and from here only the optimized solution was taken 
for 4, we are going to put 3, for 5, again 0, for 6, 5, for 7, 6, for 8, I will put 5, for 9, it will be 8, for 10, it will be 5, for 11, it will be 10. So, now what we need to do is subtract 10 from 11, we get 1 as the answer. We move to index 10 because that is the index value over here. And we subtract a 5 from 10 here, we get 5 as the answer. Then we move to 5 from here. We subtract a 0 from 5, we get 5 as the answer. So now we have got the coins, 5, 5 means 2 coins of denomination 5 and 1 coin of denomination 1. And this is the time complexity of our solution which is O within bracket the number of coins into value. So for, for us the number of coins uh, is 3 and value is 11 so the time complexity is going to be for this particular uh, problem is going to be O33. So if you want to know more about dynamic programming do watch the first video in this dynamic programming tutorial and make sure you subscribe to my channel to watch more such tech informative videos. Thank you.